Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a uh, Wayward Wayward Shiraz from Wayward Wines. This is a 2010 McLaren Vale. Now, what got my attention with this wine is that it's been uh, the score given by James Halliday, who is a, a uh, well-known uh, wine judger in Australia. Um, he has given this a 95 out of 100, which is quite high. And uh, I've seen this for sale at around 1999, something like that. So uh, this for 95 points, 9.99, like, and it's a Shiraz. I mean, you just can't walk past it. So I had to try it, and and I'm doing this in two stages because when I got to try this last night, I'd already had. Um, uh, peanuts, some salty biscuits, some, some creamy cheese, and had other uh, beer, wine, and other drinks before getting to this. Um, we were doing a like an in going through a whole series of wines and enjoying everything. So I didn't want to uh, change the flavour too much by doing the video last night after trying so many different other things. So today. And I must say, I did just have some semi on. Um, I, I'm going to uh, try this one. Now, what I remember last night was that there was definitely some chocolatey flavours on the back palate. Uh, but anyway, we'll see uh, see what comes out today. And the other thing about it is, um, it's 2010, and Shiraz's uh, really need a little bit more bottle time. So, I've just, I haven't put a cover in it, I just thought, you know, the oxygen that's in there, by today, it'll, it'll be, uh, tasting a little bit different. So, my little experiment with this one. I'd recommend that this is just opened and drunk. It was, uh, amazing when I had it last night, so we'll see today. That is, that smells fantastic. So the, the pepper is subdued, it's not a very strong peppery um, note. Mm. Mm. So there's still the... Um, definitely has had a little bit too much oxygen. <laughs> so... Hmm, should put a cover on it. Um, but, still drinkable. I'm just uh, able to detect the, you know, the slight change. Um, still definitely drinkable. Most people wouldn't even notice. It's so smooth. Um, finishes medium. The... Um, the chocolatey notes are now a bit subdued, so I'm guessing that they were brought out with what I was eating last night. But there is a... There's a flavour explosion on the tip of your tongue, in the middle of your palate, near the back of your palate, and in your throat. And um, that's, for me, that's the making of a good Shiraz, so... 95 points is on the money. Um, I do notice that it's... For me, I like a really full-bodied Shiraz, almost slightly jammy, you know, not not like a port, but certainly um, just just a touch thicker than this one. Now this looks a little bit thick, but it tastes a little bit thin in the middle palate, and so um, what else could I say? <laughs> it's, it's amazing, and I'm nitpicking by saying that, so Anyway, this is a totally amazing Shiraz. I thoroughly recommend it if you can get hold of it. So, Wayward Shiraz, 2010, McLaren Vale. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.